What's going on guys, Rich Boy Jay here, back in with another video, and today we are going to be live streaming coming from Starkiller Base. I actually quite like the setup that we have for this week, giving you guys a, a view from the outside to the inside of the build. I'm going to be working on this giant hangar that I've been working on for pretty pretty long time now so hopefully gonna knock out basically modifying some of these wall patterns they're the ones that are here and i built a bunch of them but i didn't finish them and i actually had some parts i needed to swap out of them so i'm going to work on that i'm also going to work on getting a structure built up for the wall that's going to be on this side um now just looking at the screen right now i really do love this this point of view because when people are going to be at conventions looking at the mock that's what they're going to be seeing and the fact that you can see so much more of this wall now even from just where the camera's sitting i think is actually a really big deal so very happy about that um one of the other things is i can actually turn on the lights i'd love to see what that looks like yeah it looks decently illuminated in here that was the goal, and this isn't even all the lights that are going to be on there, so very happy about that, and let's see how much progress we can make. Uh, thanks to all of you guys for joining me today. What's up? We got Wool Harper, Chester Crab Lego, Star Wars Bros, Sinister Creed. What's going on, bro? LOL Pop, LOL Pro, Lego Fan 95, Mini Cardi. We got TTXD 720s, Cosmic Brick 44, Betty Gibson, Real Lego Man Productions, Unspeakable MC Pro, Patrick Schlegel. Um, Brick Trooper, Cool Kid, Very Cool, Cooler Than Kool-Aid Man, Joey May, Legolicious, Lego Star Wars Bros, Ryan Starlet, Bulldog Perez, whole lot of gang in the spot tonight. Always happy to see you guys. So let's go ahead and get started on this thing. Creed says those walls look like they're as tall as me. They probably are. They're very tall walls. Like, if I stand up, well, you can't even see it, um... The wall, like the top of the wall is probably like right below my chin and I'm six foot two. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few people who see this mock in person that it's taller than while it's sitting on this table, which is great. You want your mocks to have that impression on people where they actually look up to it. What's up, Ethan? How you doing, bro? Appreciate that TTXD 720s. So it's been a while since I've done this. We have, it's been a while since I've gotten to engage with you guys and just talk Star Wars. I'm actually really looking forward to this stream because we got some things to talk about. Um, I guess most importantly, Clone Wars. There's a little show called Clone Wars that recently came back. And we've gotten two episodes so far that I think both have been um, pretty good. So we can absolutely talk about that. Uh, do you have anything from Clone Army Customs? The only thing I have from Clone Army Customs is their custom Boba and Jango helmet and jetpack combination. That's the only thing I have from Clone Army Customs. Appreciate that, Real Lego Man Productions. You're going to be at Brick Fiesta, right? I don't want to just assume you are if you're not. I've seen Ethan, the other Ethan, like a couple of times recently, and I think he's going to try to go... You should do the Battle of Jakku from Battlefront 2. Huh. That'd be a fun mock to do. Uh, Roanuck, he says, he skipped me. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally did not mean to. Um, still haven't gotten an Insta, but I think the speeder, I finished the speeder for the contest. Oh, sweet. I can't wait to see it, man. Yeah. Shout out to all of you who have entered the speeder contest. If you haven't already, definitely get those submissions in. I think we're at like the halfway point. I'm going to basically pull the... Uh, pull all the submissions in a couple of weeks so make sure you guys get those in um i have not seen the clip from episode three that they posted i have not i mean i think bad batch is fine it's not like the greatest thing ever like i mean because this is my first really experience with them i didn't watch the um the lost episode arc or the unfinished episode arc that they had posted but i mean they're fine they're just they're just clones like <laughs> they're not bad they're not and great they're just they're fine i don't i think if there's one thing i don't necessarily care for with the bad batch it's probably just their character design like i don't think they're very cool looking clones what got you into star wars um funnily enough lego star wars is what got me into star wars honestly hey what's up empire brick studios how you doing man 
So it's just clones gas. I mean, I'm like, trust me, I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. I'm just, they're just, I mean, they're just, they're fine. You know, it's, they're not like the greatest thing ever. They're just, they're fine. I'm, I have nothing against them. If you just look up Rich Boy J build contest on my channel, you'll find it. And yeah, I think, yeah, they don't look like clones. I think that's kind of the point, right? Which, I don't know, clones look cool. Like, why stray away from that, I guess? Hey, Rich Boy J, highlights of my day as a stream. My mom was forcing me to quit band and jazz band. Why is your mom forcing you to quit those things? Hunter looks like Rambo, but ran out of mud to put on his face. I, so that's, like, so is... Are those supposed to be tattoos on his face? Like, is that what that's supposed to be? Because it's just always there. Like, is he tatted up like a rapper? Or what What exactly is going on with his face? But yeah, he does look like Rambo, which is kind of funny. Went to Galaxy's Edge and got the Sabak deck for you. Did you really? Hey, Rich Boy, have you seen the new Lego Mandalorian set image with Baby Yoda? Yes, I did a video on it. Um, see, we haven't, man, it's been so long. We haven't gotten to talk about talk about so many things, including the new Razor Crest set that's going to be coming out. So, I mean, I, I talked about it as much in my video, but I mean, I don't love the set design to be honest. I think the Razor Crest looks kind of rushed, and that's not me just saying that because I've already built one. But I don't know. There's just it's just it's not it's not a fantastic looking set. Like I think Lego sets for the most part nowadays look pretty incredible. That set, however, is is not one of them. It says they just seem like something a twelve year old would come up with. They're edgy and have skull insignias. Could be that I'm too mature for characters like them. I could see that. I could see that. Hey, Rich Boy J, do you have the Lego Millennium Falcon 75257 and the Falcon UCS? Um, I have 75257, but I don't have the UCS Falcon. Yo, Rich Boy J, you hate Jar Jar, yet call us boyos. So that's, have I ever actually said that I hate Jar Jar? I don't, I don't actually hate Jar Jar. I, I, that's kind of a misconception. Like, I certainly don't like him, but... I mean, for all the reasons, like, if you guys ever hear me talk about why I don't like the prequels, I'll almost never bring up Jar Jar, because it's kind of low-hanging fruit at this point. Like, it's just, people have just talked about it to death, and I think there are far worse things about those films than Jar Jar. Like, Jar Jar's just a dumb Star Wars character, but I, Jar Jar doesn't offend me as much as some of the other things in the prequels. Hold on one second, we get, this is our obligatory Rich Boy J-Stream phone call. Hey, what's going on? I'm streaming right now. Uh, no, not yet. He's not here. Uh, all right. All right, bye-bye. Hey, shout out to my boy Fresh Bricks for the $5 dono. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Man, it's been a while since I've heard that sound. That donation sound. Um, what's up, Commander Stone? Hey, Rich Boy J, we get the Funko Pop Baby Yoda. I don't own a single Funko Pop, and I probably won't start with Baby Yoda. Right now, I'm just working on building up some of these wall patterns. I know it's kind of difficult for you guys to see it, just because of where I'm positioned, but that's what I'm working on. Hold on one second, I have to let my brother in. Ugh! And we are back. He says, Razor Crest looks a little machunky. When do you plan to start the Boyle Lounge? That's a secret. Boyle Lounge is a big secret. Jay starts to remember when I testified the Darth Jar Jar theory on prequel debates. Also, what if you can't have Insta? How do you enter the Coruscant Speeder Contest? 
I don't know. I've had a couple people mention that to me. And I mean, I'd really like to keep it just Instagram because that's where all of them are up to this point. But I'll think about something in regards to that. Do you think the Bark Speeder is going to have um, Bad Batch and not 501st clones? I mean, I would like for it to have 501st clones. I, I certainly would not be surprised if it's the Bad Batch, which would be a disappointment. Like, <laughs> that would be a disappointment. How would you guys feel about that? Would you be excited to get the Bad Batch's minifigs if it meant that we weren't getting 501st clones? If you want to know why I'm against Star Wars Episode 9, but I like 7 and 8, uh, go check out the review I did of Star Wars Episode 9. I think it's pretty... It's a pretty good job at explaining why I don't like that film. <laughs> did you ever hear the tragedy of Luke's land speeder re-releases? I thought not. It's not a story Lego would tell you. It's a community legend. You guys are telling me you're not excited for the upcoming UCS Luke's land speeder? Is that what, is that what you're trying to tell me? Do you think there should be another clone Star Destroyer? You mean like a Venator? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, which one of your favorite Lego Star Wars Rise of Skywalker sets? Um, definitely Pose X-Wing, for sure. It says uh, Creed says, I think they make for good minifigs, but I'd much rather have a set with massable clones, which is something we've missing for a while. I don't, I don't know. I don't like their design at all. I wouldn't, like, if they never made Bad Batch minifigs, I wouldn't be sad. Hey, shout out to the Brick Freak! This is going to be a short one for me. Have a nice stream. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I mean, the Luke, the, the land speeder set is not a bad set by any means. It's, I mean, it's the best land speeder, which is probably the most positive thing you can say about it. I think people are just annoyed that we get so many of them. And yes, Commander Stone, please, please don't spam the chat. Yo, what's up, DMK? What do you think the light, latest time I should go without finishing my huge echo base layout for brick fiesta like how like basically you're asking me how long should you put off working on it i'd say don't like last thing you want to be doing and i know this because i've done this for like every convention i've went to is um like putting i'm not necessarily putting off because i wouldn't say i put off working on crate and scarif but you don't want to end up in a situation where you're frantically building, trying to prepare a mock for a, a Lego convention. Rono Candy Buck says, Jason Crest over Razor Crest set. Thank you very much. Exactly, Square Brick Studio. Do as I say, not as I do. How long is it taking you to build that? Um, a long time. This is a big mock. This is a huge mock. Like, this hanger on its own is freaking massive. Uh, I don't think I saw your most recent mock DMK. You can link it to me. What's up, Owen Tomlinson? How you doing, man? Death Star 1 or 2? Um, I'll go to the Death Star 1. Only because that's the one we see the most of the interior on. Like, some of my favorite Star Wars memories happen on the first Death Star. Yeah, that's the thing about these recap videos. They don't. I don't think they do a, a good enough job conveying just how massive this build is. That's why I wanted to do the stream from this perspective. That is a custom TIE fighter. It is designed by a builder named Jarek, and uh, you can get the instructions from it from BrickVault.toys. It's a great TIE fighter. What's your favorite character on Star Wars, man? Luke Skywalker is my favorite character. Which sequel era ship designs do you prefer over the originals? You mean like the ones that they evolved? I definitely prefer the first order Star Destroyer to the original Star Destroyer, which I think says a lot because I love the Imperial Star Destroyer, but I think the first order Star Destroyer is just so nice looking. Um, I probably prefer the ATM-6 to the AT-AT. Um... I'd probably say the X-Wings I like it just as much. Like, I don't, I don't prefer either one over the other. 
I think I honestly prefer the A-wing, the Resistance A-wing to the Rebel A-wing. I like that it's, I like how it's more sleek. Um, I definitely prefer the original Y-wing to the Resistance Y-wing. Trying to think what else is there. What else is there to compare? The TIE Fighter, honestly, my favorite TIE Fighter is this one. The Special Forces First Order TIE Fighter. Hey, what's up, David? How you doing, bro? Yeah, dude, these walls are insane. Will you be playing... He says you forgot the B-Wing. Um, I mean, I, I haven't taken a close look at the Resistance B-Wing, so I, I have no strong opinion on it either way. Um, They're probably about three feet tall, yeah, from the... Maybe, maybe slightly over three feet tall, honestly. Maybe a little bit over three feet. Jack Newton Wrath and Jude Newton Wrath, are you two related? Do you get a sick fig in the mock if you pay for the Voyage Lounge? Yes, you do. Um, yeah, I'm going to be taking this to Brick Fiesta, David. This will be at my local Brick Fiesta. I originally wasn't going to take it to a con. But I realized it, I should probably take it to a convention. Favorite sequel character? I guess Kylo Ren. Yes, we're brothers. We're going to do it this once you're done. Um, take it apart and rebuild or rebuild another mock. This is the circle of life. How are you going to transport this gigantic mock? That's a great question. I don't know yet. Brick Fiesta is in July. It's like July 24th. Should we have a Boyo meetup at Brick Fiesta 2020 Houston? Absolutely. If anyone's going to be at Brick Fiesta, like, if you, well, if you're not going to be there, I urge you to go. And if you are going to be there, then we should definitely meet up. Do I have any tips for making mocks? Depends on what you're building. I'll check it out once the stream is over, DMK. You don't like the Clone Wars era sets, right? That's that's not necessarily true. I don't like the Clone Wars era minifigures. Sets, I'm totally fine with. I enjoy the contest video. The contest finishes a day before my birthday. Then go ahead and enter it, and maybe you'll receive a, a birthday present. Hey, shout out to that boy, Xavier Sorrent. Been a while since I've seen you. Says, what do you think of the expert Fiat 500? I do not like that set at all. Like, I don't understand why LEGO keeps Clone Wars era. No, I, I love prequel sets, or Clone Wars era sets. People seem to think because I don't like the prequel films, I don't like like sets from them, but I like them a lot, actually. Especially since nowadays, they come so few and far between. But um, speaking of the Fiat 500, I, just, I don't, I mean, it's it looks like it looks like a Fiat 500, but I just don't like the way the car looks, so I don't care for the set, if that's fair. I don't understand why they keep making these, like, lame European car creator expert vehicles like i don't know i feel like if i'm like oh i want like a cool lego model of a car i'm thinking of like some sort of sports car not a freaking fiat 500 got any tips for making mocks of battles particularly clones oh man there's so many clone battle mocks i can't give any specific advice because i've never actually done one but, I mean, I show off a clone vehicle, or a clone vehicle, a Clone Wars-based mock pretty much every week on the mock showcase. So, if you're looking for inspiration, I think you can just go through some of the links in the mock showcases that I've done. And I think there's some just really nice mocks on there. Favorite clone trooper? And so far is design, Commander Cody, or a shock trooper. Cody or a shock trooper. But in terms of actual character, I'll go with fives. 
Not fives. Rex, why do I say fives? Although, RIP fives. Fives is up there. No disrespect to fives. I've considered going to Brick Fiesta, an 11-hour drive, but Joel Tyler has urged me multiple times to go, and I've considered uh, collaborating with him. You absolutely should. You absolutely should. Have you seen Clover Season Series se Season Seven? Yeah, I have. I've been watching it. I'm looking. F I'm. Lo I'm. And it's. It's nice. It's something kind of new and refreshing to to look forward to every week. I would like to say here's what, here's a question for you guys. Um, those of you who watched like the unfinished episodes, and I know it's probably a lot of you. Um, I talked to one of my friends, my friend Hunter, and he and I was just asking him like, how closely do, do these episodes align with them? And he says that like they align pretty closely with the unreleased episodes, which makes sense. But like, is that somewhat disappointing to you guys? Like the fact that you've kind of experienced most of the story up to this point, like it's it's not exactly new. I was just curious about how people who actually watched those unfinished episodes felt about. I mean, seeing them, and of course they're finished now, but it's still, because they fall so closely, I don't know, maybe it's, it's kind of annoying, feeling like you're basically rewatching a story you've already seen. All right, see you, DMK. Take care, man. Where can you find unfinished episodes? Um, they're on YouTube, I think. You just look up Clone Wars Unfinished Episodes. What's up, Owens Bricks? But yeah, Xavier, I'm just, I'm not a fan of the Fiat at all. Like, it's it's pretty lame in my opinion. Like if if they wanted to do like the American equivalent, they like they they do a creator expert of like a a freaking Ford Taurus. They just need to do all the, like, they just, they need to create experts for all the, just the basic cars. Like, do a creator expert Honda Civic. Appreciate that, Jude. Would you change the design of a Lego set? I've changed the design of most Lego sets, probably. If you look at my collection, it's, it's at this point becoming a lot more mocks. And not even necessarily just my mocks, but, like, even other people's mocks, more so than it is just Lego sets. My ex show a Fort Taurus horrible car. Shout out to Angel. Are you an angel? Excuse me? An angel. I've heard the deep space pilots talk about them. They're the most beautiful creatures in the galaxy. I'll check out your mock after the stream, Jack Newton Wrath. Oh yeah, mocks over sets all day. What's up, commas? Is that what your name is now, Stormy? I guess it's not even Stormy. Stormy should be a, a mod. Who is this imposter with Stormy's pick? Hey, shout out to Xavier Sorrent for the nine ninety nine dollars dono. Appreciate it, man. Now this is pod racing. Today is uh, Phantom, Men Phantom Menace quote day, so everyone drop your best Phantom Menace quote in the chat. My man, where has thou been? I have been very busy lately. I've been very busy. What's your favorite Baby Yoda meme? I don't know, I have to think about that. Oh, I know exactly what it is. It's my favorite Baby Yoda meme is the picture of him in the like yellow puff jacket, the New York Yankees hat, and the Tims. That's my favorite Baby Yoda meme. I really want to build just a big Lego version of that. What's up, Stormy? Playing Lego Star Wars. That's what's up. I expect the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. I'm glad that Qui-Gon responds that way because, like, just listening to what Jar Jar says before that, I would have no idea what he says. 
Because it doesn't even say, like, like it's, that's just such a weird exchange between them. It's just like, like, Jar Jar just for whatever reason, oh, I, oh, I think, um, oh, does Obi-Wan say something? But anyway, it's like, Jar Jar's just randomly like, I speak, and I'm like, okay, that's weird. That's a weird thing to just randomly say. And then Qui-Gon's like, the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. I cringe every time I hear that line because that's, like, supposed to be humor. That's what prequel humor sounds like. And, like, Obi-Wan's kind of smirking while he says it, and I'm just like, that's just not funny. Like, that's not funny at all. I spec... I want a shirt that says, I spec. Obi-Wan was a little brat in The Phantom Menace. He's a brat in Phantom Menace and in um, Attack of the Clones. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Appreciate that, Jack. It hurts that episode one came out after episode four. Yeah. Do you have any tips on making the most money when you're buying parts or making the most of your money when buying parts on Bricklink? Whenever I place an order on Bricklink, here's what I do. I put everything I want in a wanted list. I pretty much exclusively only buy things from wanted lists. And then I let Bricklink figure out the rest for me. Uh, with, a, with the easy buy option. I'm going through the six years of Clone Wars. I realize how much stupid humor there is between Anakin and Obi-Wan. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. Master Destroyers. They're no match for droid, you guys. I don't know. Does anyone... Does any Like, outside of that scene in episode one, does anyone ever say the word droidica or destroyer droid in any of the prequels ever? And it not really enjoying season seven. I feel the animation is rough. Dialogue feels contrived, underwhelming at points. But a lot in the first episode and the bad, I'm guessing that message will continue. I wouldn't say Star Wars is full of bad humor. I think that the humor in episode... Like, the original trilogy humor is pretty great, like, for Star Wars. It's not like, you know, like, gut-busting, side-splitting humor. But it's still, it's good. It's solid stuff. It's good for Star Wars. Clankas. Obi-Wan says Master Destroyers, but doesn't say the full word. I think Anakin says Destroyers in Episode 3 on the Invisible Hand. Can someone confirm that? I, I still don't understand why people give that line so much crap. Like, I I am, I am no episode 9 fan by any means, but I actually really like the They Fly Now exchange. I thought that was funny. I don't understand why that was so controversial, quote-unquote. That is a wild rich boy, Jay. What's up, Alex McBrick? Ahsoka says Klanka with a hard R. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. Favorite Baby Yoda moments. When the scout troopers punched him. That was a good moment. Have you tried spinning? I heard it's a good trick. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Oh boy. That's Darth Vader, you ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate that, Dan Sanchez. Says they fly now is funny in the sense that it's so stupid. They act as if flying in Star Wars is unrevolutionary, though we've seen it numerous times. I mean, I don't think... See, 
they're not surprised that, that they're flying. They're surprised that the st the First Order Stormtroopers are flying. Like, obviously, flying is not a big deal in Star Wars, but he, the point of it, the emphasis is on they fly now, not they fly. The emphasis on that sentence is on, is on they, not fly. And so far as, they're just surprised that the First Order has sent flying troops after them, which up to this point in the films, they hadn't. So, I don't know. It, like, I think people, like... I'm pretty hard on episode nine, but that, that scene did not deserve as much criticism as people are giving it. Like if you just, if you just think about it, it's, you can explain it pretty easily. Like it, it's not like that just doesn't make sense. Favorite set, probably the new UCS star destroyer. Imagine finding star Wars slang, a thing to speculate about. Some move. What is here's a good question for the chat. What are you guys' favorite? What's your favorite Star Wars slang word? It could be wizard, it could be moof milker, nerf herder. Appreciate that, Patty Clark. What I think is funny regarding flying is R2 flies episodes 1 through 3, not at all, and 4 through 6, then he flies again in 7 through 9. I guess he forgot how to. When does R2 fly in episode in the sequels? Did I just totally forget about that? Am I totally missing? When does R2 fly in the sequels? If it happened in episode 9, I wouldn't be shocked because a lot of things happened in that film. I don't think R2 flies in the sequels. He definitely flies in the prequels, which I thought, which is which is silly, because he didn't fly in the original trilogy. But I don't think he flew in the sequels. Yeah, he didn't fly. In, he didn't fly in the sequels. Bombad. That's a good Star Wars slang word. Bombad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think R two flew in the sequels. Um, I mean the the final season isn't over yet, but I'm enjoying it so far. Boyos is my favorite slang term. Boyos is good too. Appreciate that, Nolan. You didn't see the scene where he did an evil Knievel stunt? Yeah, there was that scene when R2 um, jumped a row of uh, Star Destroyers. Nerf Herder. Starkiller Hanger from the table up. It's a little over three feet. Tree feet. What's up, Boat Cow? Your fourth legit Republic gunship. Is it the newest version? Um, yes. So that's actually a pretty big thing that I don't think that a lot of people haven't talked about. I've wanted to do a video on it. I just haven't. But no, that is super lame that Lego is taking custom things from Bricklink. Like, I have a friend who has been up to this point selling his instructions for his custom train designs. Not even like things that are IPs. Literally just like custom trains he's designed. And Lego's taken the, like those off of his Bricklink page with no warning, so like all the this product descriptions he just lost, which was super annoying. So I mean, I haven't seen any benefits to Lego owning Bricklink up until this point. I love the hanger after this update. The hexagonal shape really makes it eye pop. I appreciate that, Zandy. Yeah, if someone can point can point out any positive thing that has happened. Since Lego is a quiet bricklink, please let me know because I sure haven't seen it. I think at some point my my Discord will be linked by um, Nightbot. Has it been explained yet as to why the Final Order fleet wasn't affected by Clone Palpatine's upgraded Force Lightning? It's because he, I guess he just has the ability to decide where that lightning goes. When it's uh, except for when it's reflecting back into his face, apparently. I don't know, dude. The movie sucks. The movie sucks. Okay, so are 2020 parts not on Bricklink? Can someone 
I've, I've heard that. I heard, I've heard people mention it, but I haven't actually seen evidence of that. Is that true? Are 2020 parts just not on BrickLink? Here, I'm going to test it myself. I want to go to BrickLink. I want to look up Pose X Swing from this year. Is that even called Pose X Swing? Here. Lego Pose X Swing 2020. Seven five two seven three. So, if I'm not responding to the chat, it's because I'm looking this thing up right now. Oh wow! It says inventory pending approval. Okay, that's that's lame. That's not good at all. They're obviously built with lightning proof armor. Of course. It hurts knowing that there was a point where I had genuine hope in JJ. I know, right? I found the new wedge plates. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah. 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 I think episode 9 exposed JJ pretty, pretty hard. What's up, Jamie Furnish? What videos have links to your Discord? I want to join. Is it, it might be, in, well, I don't know. I think Night, if Nightbot is even working at this point, it should link it. Otherwise, I'll have to, I mean, my Discord's pretty dead at this point. I'm pretty sure. So it's, you're not missing anything. But if you're still interested, shoot me a message on Insta and I can send you a link. Perhaps, if I still know how to use it. What's up, Aiden Roberts? Appreciate that. Oh, God. Appreciate that, Sandy. <clears throat> favorite mock that I've done. My favorite large-scale mock. Vardos, probably. My favorite vehicle mock, probably my Razor Crest. What's up, Ryan Studios? Dude, I cannot believe it. Why do you not like Stars Episode 9? Just watch the review I did on it. I could go through it now, but the review does a much better job at conveying why I don't like that film. Appreciate that, Patty Clark. Hey, there we go. Shout out to Zandy. I'll name my second born after you for it. I'm so glad to hear that. What's up, Jedi Bob? How you doing, man? What do you think of Battlefront 2? I haven't played that game in so long. Um, it's been very helpful with reference material for Mox. I'll say that about it. Patty Clark, I would be honored if you would name your child after me. That would really be something, like, 10 years from now, to, like, meet a fan with a baby, and they're like, yeah, I was such a big fan of yours when I was younger. I named my child after you. Say hello to baby rich boy Jay. And you're like, oh, well, that's something. Did I, Bob, did you stream last night? How did I miss that? You're going to be a big doo-doo this time. So I am on the bomb team, and we are deciding what to call the bomb robot. I will suggest your name at our next training. You absolutely should. Glory says, do you think Lego will put up their own Brickling sort of sell blank minifig parts? That's, I mean, I honestly would not be shocked um, if, uh, 
Lego made some sort of Brickling store. As for blank minifig parts, I don't know. But I wouldn't be shocked if at some point they did put up their own Brickling store. Teach me some techniques. Been trying to get into bigger, more detailed mocks. Anything you want to suggest? Oh, there's so many. Where do we even begin? Um... I don't know, maybe just take a look at some of the, like, mid-videos and the mock build series, just to, or even just look at, like, some of the mocks I've done that are similar to some things you want to build, and maybe just look at some of the things I've done. Gonna need you to fly into Rally this weekend for Brick Universe. I mean, I'd love to, but I gotta work. Which Somerset are you most excited for? None of them really have me super excited. I think once we learn about the minifigs, like concrete information, I'll probably have a better answer. But um, at this point, I don't know. Whatever has the best figures. Like, I, I'm not super intrigued by any of the sets. But whatever has the best figs will end up being my favorite set. You know that, that baby Luke model in the Complete Saga? I'm trying to make it a playable character in the game. Have you actually been able to, like, mod Lego Star Wars? If you have, we definitely need to talk. Because I'm trying to figure out how to get, like... A, an actual rich boy J in the game with like my updated hair piece favorite lego star wars set um public gunship the most recent one if we're just if we're talking non-ucs sets i'm trying to keep it vague among the public what have you done so far With the new Mandalorian sets coming out, what other stuff would you want from that show? Great question. Um, I think minifigs are what I'm probably most interested in uh, from that show. I'm trying to think of other things we've seen that I might want to get. I think minifigs are probably the most important thing. Whew. And I want a minifig of that toilet girl from the Suicide Squad episode. General Tess giving speed boost, removing gravity. Wow. How did you get into that? Like, was that a difficult thing to figure out? I'm glad your cat likes my voice. I need to start doing cat streams. How late are you going to stream? Um, I don't know, honestly. I honestly don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Are you building other sets besides Lego Star Wars? I actually recently bricklinked parts to build a cafe corner from, um, from like the original modular set. So like I had most of the parts. I think I spent probably 80 bucks to finish it. But that's the a recent like non Lego Star Wars set that I've built. Which is pretty cool. I'm trying to collect all the modulars. At this point, there's only four of them that I don't have. Which is the uh, Market Street, Fire Brigade, Town Hall, and um, the Grand Emporium. So I'm pretty close. Is it odd to drink Taco Bell sauce packets to help with hunger, bro? Is it that, is it that bad, man? Are you, are you struggling that hard? You gotta have Taco Bell packets for, for dinner? it that rough out here these days yeah quill would be a great character to get what ucs set from the sequels would you want to be made i'm unsure what i would want maybe ucs walker from crate i can't remember the name that's the atm6 other than that um I mean, ucs atm6 would be cool except the fact they already have one um, i think kylo shuttle is probably the most likely ucs set we are to get like the first one out of the gate ucs first order star destroyer um, resistance bomber UCS set would be incredible. 
Uh, so much, so much. I can see you having a huge Lego city when you get a little older and have a place of your own. That's my goal. Like, as much as I love doing these large Star Wars mocks, I would love to have a permanent giant Lego city that I work on. Like, I see so many people do Lego cities, but it's always, like... I don't know, like, this isn't to show, throw shade or anything, but people always take just the most basic route with doing a Lego city. Like, there's all, almost inevitably going to be, like, a bunch of modulars in it. Um... And it's always on a, a, a square grid, and there's not usually much elevation to it. It's all mostly flat. So, like, I would love to do a, a mostly realistic type of Lego city. Like, lights going all the way through it, including, like, stoplights, street lights, things like that. I would want for it to... I mean, it, it mostly would be on a square grid because it's just more convenient to build that way. But I'd have certain streets that are, like, diagonal going through the street, and, like, the buildings would also... Um, be lined up that way and just like very various elevations and I'd also like to include like a highway like a you know like an elevated freeway um, a downtown with skyscrapers just various things like that I'd love to do so one day we'll see we'll see shout out to Caleb Draws for giving your boy a subscription What's your favorite Easter egg you've been including one of your mocks? Definitely the crane. Like, by far the crane. Um, I did not see Birds of Prey. I wanted to, just didn't get around to. Did you see it and did you like it? I always thought about, like, once I decide to actually pursue making a big Lego city, if that's something I want to make a new channel for, or to just do it here on my current channel. I'd have to think about that. Like, I w certainly wouldn't mind doing it on this channel. My, I guess the biggest thing I'd be concerned about is, like, all the videos I do that aren't Star Wars related, like, they do significantly worse compared to my Star Wars related videos. So, I don't know. Might be a way to reach out to people because maybe there might there'll be people who would like would like to see the Lego City but don't necessarily care about Star Wars. So we'll see. Appreciate that, Patty Clark. But yeah, Rich Boy J Lego City will come. It absolutely will come. I actually have huge plans for that. DMK says I'm listening to you in an OG way. Your voice is going through my speakers and the vehicle I'm in. That's what's up, dude. It makes me feel so powerful. Well, Lego Star Wars 2027, are you most excited for? You're excited for the Razor Crest and Night Buzzard. I'm looking forward to whatever the UCS sets end up being, I suppose. I'll send you a custom Lego bomb tech to put it in. I would totally do that. We need our Rich Boy J City Bomb Squad. I have a check out Birds of Prey then, Sandy. The city will come at the same time as a Rich Boy J room tour. Oof. That's some shade, bro. That's some shade. I know. I can't even say anything. Like, I just need to... I just need to build, do the, the room tour. I just need to do it. I have no excuses. I just need to do it. Are you enjoying Lego Master Builders? If you're referring to the show, I haven't seen it. Have you ever considered making a second channel for non-Lego Star Wars content? If so, I subscribe. Um, I, I mean, so much of my life is devoted to Lego Star Wars. I don't think I'd have much to contribute to a non-Lego Star Wars channel. Unfortunately. Uh, which pose actually is your favorite? You mean in terms of color screen or in terms of color screen? In terms of color scheme or in terms of, like, the actual set? Jay is the president of Lego J City. His cabinet, the Jatorian Guards. Yes. The Jatorian Guards patrol the streets at night to ensure order and safety. In terms of, like, the actual set, definitely the most recent one because it has the newest parts. Looks the best. But in terms of just the actual color screen, screen why can't I say color scheme? Um, I'll definitely go with the... The black and orange one. Six X-Wings. Oh my god. What X-Wings do you have? I 
I have... Well, it depends on what X-Wings you're referring to. So, I have three Inther, like, original trilogy X-Wings. I have one Inther uh, sequel trilogy X-Wing. I have... In terms of built X-Wings, I still have all my T-70s built. So, that's three more if you count that. When did you hit 26k? So last time I looked, it said 16k. I got a lot of subscribers over like uh, late last year. Did you won't be getting any more Mandalorian sets for another eight to ten months? I mean, yeah. I mean, the, honestly, the ones we're already getting this year probably weren't even supposed to come out. That seemed like some, like a last minute thing Lego decided to do. So I'm not surprised at all. We're not getting any more until like next year. I can't maintain all these years of release like y'all. That's when I joined. How'd you build the angles for the hangar? It was very difficult. Not as honestly, not really. Um, they're all. I just built like a, a, like two giant braces on the sides, and they have like uh, teeth that stick out, and it basically just holds the wall in, and but keeps it at a slant. Zero X Wing. That's some that's some strength. Considering how many X Wings and Falcons there've been, the fact that you don't have any is honestly shocking. Jenny, did you help? I've begun saying Okie Day every day like in everyday life, unironically I need help. That's I see no problems with that. I think everyone should be saying Okie Day. And pretty hot. Okie Day. Honestly, Next time you see your crush, what you need to say to them is, Miss, I'm so happy to be seeing you again. How much would the ATAT be if it came out? You're talking about my ATAT or the rumored ATAT set? I don't have any X Wings either, but I will soon have a Resistance Bomber. Are you going to get it with that boy, uh, Finch Dallow? I think the rumor one's going to be $160. Appreciate that, DMK. Y'all are so kind. Mr. So happy to be seeing you again. No, what you need to say next time you see your crush is, my, have you grown? And then she'll respond with, you too, grown more beautiful, I mean. And then you'll look at her awkwardly. I'd much rather be thinking about Padme. That's such a weird line. What does Obi-Wan say to him before that? He's like, your thoughts... He says something about your thoughts, and he's like, I'd much rather be thinking about Padme. Like, you can't control what you think about. Like, I get that, like, Anakin's supposed to be in love, but come on. Oh, my God. I'd much rather be thinking about Padme. Ugh. Stop. Stop. It hurts. The cringe is too much. Can someone tell me what he says right before that? Appreciate that, Nolan Venti. Just tell how you don't like saying it's coarse. And rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Unlike you. You everything soft and smooth in the world. Does, can no one tell me what they say right before that scene? Yeah, if I saw Padme, I'd be saying awkward lines like that. Would you really, though? Would you really, though? He says, Obi, hold my bear. Oh my, can someone actually tell? Is no one a true Star Wars fan in the chat? I built that TIE Fighter, but I didn't design it. It's designed by Jarek. Can someone in the chat please tell me what Anakin says before he says, or what Obi-Wan or Anakin says, before Anakin says, 
I'd much rather think be thinking about Padme. He says, I don't like episode two enough to know that line. Well, you don't know, so you're not too sure. I know. No one here is a good enough Star Wars fan. I'm just going to Google it since apparently no one here knows. I'd much rather be thinking about Padme. Oh, he says I'd much rather dream about Padme. Or be... Let's see. Here we go. He says dreams pass... In okay, so who says dreams pass in time? Appreciate that Square Brick Studio. Oh, okay. All right, I found it, guys. Here's how the exchange goes. This is uh, this is George Lucas writing for you all. So, what are they even doing? Oh, this is while Padme sleep. All right, so Obi-Wan says, you look tired. Anakin says, I don't sleep well anymore. Obi-Wan says, because of your mother. And Anakin says, I don't know why I keep dreaming about her now. I haven't seen her since I was little. And then Obi-Wan says, dreams pass in time. Anakin says, I'd rather dream of Padme. Just being around her again is dot, 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 intoxicating. <laughs> that boy, George Lucas. You got away with the words. What's up, Brick Plague? How you doing, bro? I'm haunted by the kiss. The kiss you should have never given me. Please don't let this kiss become a scar. What did she say to him after that? Like, come back. Come back to reality. Or, I don't, I don't know. Maybe she, she says something like, if you follow your thoughts through to the conclusion, they'll take you somewhere we, where you know we can't go. I don't know, man. What's better, The Mandalorian or what we've seen so far Season 7 in Clone Wars? Um, I mean, the, it's hard. I mean, the Mandalorian's done, so that's. I think it's not really a fair question. I think if you're just comparing The Mandalorian, like, first two episodes to these first two episodes, um, I'd probably say The Mandalorian, because it's, because it's live action. I think I'm always, like, the shows are pretty on par, but... I think I'm always going to prefer live action. Plus, we've already just seen so much of the Clone Wars up until this point. Mandalorian felt a lot more new and unexpected. Unexpected. My favorite Star Wars movie is episode four. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Brick Plumber. Brick Plumber. Brick Plug, a.k.a. Mark Parisher, for the 199 dono. Imagine if a non-Star Wars fan showed up during the Padme-Anakin combo. That'd be awkward. I'm haunted by the kiss. The kiss you should have never given me. Please don't let that kiss become a scar. I got a question for all my boyos out there. Have y'all ever been with a girl that has let, let a kiss become a scar? I'm just curious. Y'all's secret is safe with me, I promise. On a scale from one to ten, 
How would you rate Rise of Skywalker? I'll give it a, a hot three. He says, nah, I used to ghost them, so it wasn't my problem. Shout out to all my boys in the chat that didn't let that kiss become a scar. DMK, I'm honestly just happy you finally have a Star Wars shirt so you can represent. Please don't let that kiss become a scar. I'm haunted by the kiss. Haunted by the kiss. That sounds like a song. I'll make a song called Haunted by the Kiss. When you kiss upon a scar. <laughs> BMK says he's been with a girl for three years and they broke up, but it did not leave a scar. That's good, man. Don't let these girls kiss you and leave a scar. I got 99 problems, but a brick hate one. <laughs> I got 99 kisses, but a... No, I got 90... I got 99 kisses, but a scar ain't one. I got 99 problems, but a scar ain't one. What would Jabba do? That does make you a true Star Wars fan. My boy Creed has achieved a whole other level of coolness by being too cool for girlfriends. Would you agree with the biggest problem is the writing behind the scenes? For the prequels or for what? The power only few have achieved. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. Did I like Rebels? I liked Rebels. I hated the, the, the way Rebels ended, but I, I mostly liked Rebels. 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 I had a girlfriend once. She asked me to recite prequel lines. Wow. She hated you that much, huh? What's up, J-Man0531? What's up, Ryan? Is it? I live in the great state of Texas. All I do is sort, 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 no matter what. Got money. Oh, got Lego on my mind. I can't ever get enough. <laughs> Yeehaw state. I'll have you know, I have never once unironically uttered the phrase yeehaw. You thought what was Lego? Everything that you see is Lego except for this microphone and me, obviously. The TIE Fighter is Lego. I'm out Gigam Aggies 2022 and FedEx for life. Oh my god. Alright, see you, bro. <laughs> bro, we rep a UPS gang over here. I'm sorry. I'm not getting a ticket already. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying you just got your license and you've already gotten a ticket? Yes, the walls are Lego. Yeah, it's a good looking TIE Fighter. I unfortunately can't take credit for it. It's a Jarek TIE Fighter, but it's good. Hey, what's up, Mal? How you doing, bro? Every time I step into the Lego build and battle pack, battle pack, Prices go up, 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 and they stay there. You guys remember when battle packs were $10? Good times. 
I'm gonna get my license. My birthday was last Monday. Nice. All right, see you, Creed. Hey, what's up, Matt? How you doing, bro? Are you back in Jersey yet? My boy Wiz back in the the Wiz Dome. That's what we call his house, the Wiz Dome. Bro, get your license. Get your LPs. So Matt, you coming to Brick Fiesta or nah? Welcome to my crib. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Squidward. Ten bucks says, "All right, all right. How old are you, Patty Clark? If someone in the chat is older than you, you got a super chat. Ten, ten big ones. Can Cena hook it up this year? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sixty-five. Yeah, Matt's actually sixty-five. So, yeah." You lose. Um, I don't know. He might be able to. Hit that boy up. Come see Starka. So I will say, if you're planning on going to Virginia, though, um, Brick World or Brick Fair Virginia is the week after Brick Fiesta. I watched your videos with my granddad. He's 76. There you go. All right, Tidy Clark, you got to cough up, cough up the moolah. What does Qui-Gon say? Whenever you gamble, eventually you lose. Whenever you gamble, my friend, eventually you lose. Yeah, I know, dude. Usually Brick Fiesta is like early July like July 4th weekend, but they didn't want to do that again. Because most people are vacationing for that, so they changed it. If you do a live feed Friday, payday, I'll throw 10 bones. All right, sounds good. I'm going to hold you to that. I wouldn't want to take your money now considering you're eating Taco Bell packets for dinner, so that's fair. DMK is 10 years old, apparently. Which Legends character do you most want to become canon? I don't, not, none, none, honestly. I'm fine with them just making new characters. I don't have that deep of an attachment to any legend character. Papa John's or Pizza Hut? I'd probably go with, I'd go with uh, Daddy John's. The Big Papa. No one can out Jabba the Hut. Papa is in prison right now. These are sad times. All of my childhood idols are in prison right now. The Papa John's guy. Bill Cosby. Jake Lloyd. What is this? Shout out to Mal for the one dollar donor. He says can't talk while he's at work. Thoughts on rumored summer sets haven't talked about on the stream. Also, you should stream more consistently. I know, I know, I know. Uh, quick thoughts on the summer sets. I honestly, I'm not super excited for any one of them. Um, I'm happy that we're finally getting Clone Wars sets again, but I didn't expect for them to all be remakes. Oh my god. But hopefully the figures are good. If the figures are good, I'll be happy. Um, I just, I don't know, with how awful the April wave is going to be, I'm not looking, I'm not super excited about LEGO Star Wars sets right now, I guess. Bro, Phase 1 clones are the GOATs.
if you don't stand Phase One clones, you're not a true boya. Like I should make a Bill Cosby bust. Oh my god. So I'm, I want to add like a prison, uh, like a, a detention block on Star Killer, and I was trying to think of people to put in it. Bill Cosby would be a funny one to throw in there. Well, I talked about this before, and someone recommended to put Jake Lloyd in there, which would be hilarious. But I kind of feel sorry for him, so I don't, I don't know if I want to poke that much fun at Jake Lloyd. That's a good point, Patty Clark. We need to show them the ways of, of Lego Star Wars. Throw Jar Jar in there. Why Jar Jar? Hey, shout out my boy Alex McBrick. He says, never donated before for some reason. Wanted to show my support. We love your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Put Darth Maul in the prison and Justin Bieber for producing a terrible album last month. Oof. I didn't know you didn't like the Biebs, Zandy. I mean, you know Jar Jar. Nobody can trust him these days. Jar Jar is a murderer. Just listen to Yummy by Justin Bieber, then he'll understand. I heard some of that song. It didn't sound, I didn't hate it. What's up, Collector Bricks and the Kardashians? I should put the Kardashians in the mock. Can someone find me some nice custom Kardashian minifigs? Darth Binks. Guess how many jobs you have, like, currently? I'll unsubscribe if you do. Oh, my God. So fickle. In terms of celebrities and mocks, I've only done Vin Diesel up to this point. Oh, and Salt Bay. Can't forget about Salt Bay. I'm gonna ask, do you have three jobs right now? Put a Dark Jar Jar in there, and then Gemma Collins. I don't know who that is. Lego is plastic, so the Kardashians will be made pretty accurately. Oof! That's some shade. So I was working on these wall sections and I finished them up. Now I'm working on the structure for the wall that's going to be on this side of the mock. Yeah, I showed it out, Alex. I gave my, I showed my boy Alex some love. Four jobs. Oh my god, you should be swimming in Lego then. Put some of those hot Sith jet troopers in the prison alongside Bail Sakira and Bayzine Natal. I would never put either of those girls in prison. They're too beautiful to go to prison. Are you building this to take to places like shows and conventions, or is it too big for transport? It's probably too big for transport, but I'm going to take it to Brick Fiesta here in Houston, Texas. If they made a 501st battle pack, would you have to buy them all and build a Clone Wars mock like David Hall? Sounds good to me. That sounds like exactly what I would do. But I'm really hoping that that rumor, that Bark Speeder, does actually come with 501st Troop. Lego needs to stop playing games with us. I do not know how far away I am from Fort Hood. You should absolutely come to Brick Fiesta just to see this mock. 
So tell me about the Brickwood's Rich Boy J and Solid Bricks collab. I can't say too much right now, but it's gonna be lit. That's all. That's all I'll say about it. Do you have a day job? Yes, yes I do. Bark Speeder said it's rumored to have 501st troops and an ATRT. Man, I I certainly hope so. If it does, I'm gonna have to splurge on those. That sounded weird. I'm on to. I will have to buy a lot of them. That's what I mean. What's up, CJ man? DMK, I'm sure if you've made that March of the Jedi Temple mock, whenever Lego decides to put out a Five of First Battle Pack, you'll still get it done before Chris Productions. Build Camino with the guys, just a bunch of studs. Just a bunch of studs stacking studs. Bro, stay safe out there, Patty Clark. There's a Lego convention in Indy where I'm from coming up in a couple of weeks. It's the first time I've been to a Lego con. Hope there's some cool Star Wars stuff there. Oh, that's cool. Is it Brick World Indy? That is a custom TIE Fighter. I was thinking about putting the Razor Crest up there for the stream, but I realized it would probably be too big and just in the way. In the way. My trip to Washington for school just got canceled today because of the virus. That's annoying. What's the virus in the Clone Wars called? What was your reaction to seeing Echo? Um, I mean, it was... Kind of depressing to see him, like, as Robo Echo. But it was cool. That the Blue Shadow Virus. There we go. The Blue Shadow Virus. Um, but, David, you should absolutely come out to see this mock, dude. That would be awesome. I'm trying to get as many people as possible to come to Brick Fiesta to see this mock. Because, one, it's going to be huge. And, two... It'll be the only chance you guys get to see it in person. Like, I'm not going to push... I was talking to... Um, I was on a call with Hunter and JB, uh, Brick Fanatic. And I was selling them... Like, trying to convince them to come to Brick Fiesta. And I was like, I'm not going to push this mock off a table or anything. But let's just say I really don't care what condition it comes back home in. So if you want to see... What might honestly end up being the largest Star Wars mock up until this point, I urge you to come to Brick Fiesta. Oh, there's going to be a Boyle Lounge in this for sure. The Blue Shadow Virus. Would you pay to know the next five years of Lego Waves? I mean, I wouldn't pay, like, absurd money, but I'd, I mean, I'd be interested in knowing. I could plan some mocks around that information for sure. The crane really entices me to come to Fiesta. See, it's... Bro, you gotta see the crane. Should build Venator Interior mock. That'd be fun. I just... Like, what... Like, if I ask the chat right now, what are the most iconic scenes that happen inside of Venator? What comes to mind? I want to say not very much. Honestly, the thing that comes to my mind is the, the Boba Fett arc where he, like, sneaks on the Venator. Or he doesn't really, I guess, yeah, he sneaks on and, like, tries to assassinate Mace Windu. Make a small section in your mock of the Blue Shadow Virus spreading. <laughs> Dude, at this point, you may as well just build Starkiller itself. That is true. Why, why stop with this? Just... Clear out the, uh, all the space in my house and just keep building out.
Thoughts on the night buzzard rumor? I mean, I, I don't care to have that set. The Knights of Ren were boring. Are you putting any Easter eggs in your mock for viewers to look for? There will be more Easter eggs. I think once since I've gotten that crane finished, that was really the main one. Anything after that is just, you know, icing on the cake, as they say. I have to do paperwork on my rookie, but I'm clearly too distracted with this feed. That's good. Let the let the stream consume you. What are we having those prequel debates? That's a great question. Honestly, if I just need, I'm gonna tell Matt that I'm just gonna do it. I've given him plenty of time to host another one, and he just hasn't. So yeah. All right, see ya, Gloria. Take care. Thanks for coming through. Chester Bricks. The next one's going to be episode two. Are you excited for that one? I have a baby. I'd rather get it and suffer the consequences than my baby. How sweet. I still got dibs on the second baby's name. You can do the Brickster from the Lego Island game. That could be funny. How are you going to transport this? Um, great question. I don't know yet. I mean, it all, it's, it's mostly modular. I'd probably have to like rent like a van or something, honestly, because it's so much. But firstly, the convention I'm taking it to is in this city, so it's and it's it's not that far at all. It's like forty minutes away. So yeah, I'll probably just rent a U-Haul to to take it. Hey, what's up, Trevor? How you doing, man? Speaking of Brick Fiesta, Trevor, can we expect to see you at Brick Fiesta? Greyhound. Oh my God, could you imagine? Could you imagine? I only know Gertie. Dude, it's a big mock. How long and tall are one of the hangar walls? Like, from here to here, a little over two feet. From the table to the top, because it's actually sitting up on a platform, it's a little over three feet. The mock probably... I mean, it comes apart. It Like, if, if the mock was all one piece, it certainly would not fit through a door. But everything, it, it's it's modular, fortunately. I know I'm from Texas, but I have no intention on pulling up to a convention on horseback. But yeah, Trevor, are you going to be at Brick Fiesta? David says he might come, so there we go. Um, I have two Lego rooms. This one, this room I'm in right now is our game room. And this is where I keep the big build displayed. And this is where I work on it. Um, and my actual Lego room where like all my parts are and stuff like that is just another room over there. Show the East Coast some love. I mean, Brick Fair, Virginia. You can go there. Brick Fiesta is going to be in July. Yes, I'll be there. Really happy you're taking that. Anything fun to do besides convention in Houston? Oh, there's plenty to do. We'll be in the Sugarland area. Which is, I guess, a suburb of Houston. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big city. We won't be super far from a Lego store, which is kind of par for the course for Lego cons. Um, I know Garrett would probably know better about specific things on that in that part of town than I would. Yeah, 
Minifix Scale Night Buzzard sounds pretty dope. Have we seen the interior of it yet? Like in the um in the book? In the reference material book, have we seen the interior? I might be going to Hawaii with my family though, so that will probably wipe out my already non existent bank account. Come on, bro. Skip Hawaii. Come to Texas. Why would you want to go to Hawaii when you could come to Texas? No, I don't think I'll add an interior. If I do, be very general. Maybe a few jail cells. That's fair. You gotta have a big smoke cloud coming out of the back of it. Bro, DMK, skip Chicago and come to Brick Fair. And come to Brick Fiesta. I have the book, no interior, no interest in building that ship because of that. Oh, that's disappointing. Did they actually re release like two different ones, like a visual dictionary and like a complete ship guide book for Rise of Skywalker, or did they just make it all one book? I mean, it, I like for Solo, they made it all one book, which was nice because you only had to buy one book. But the disappointing thing was when they make it one book, I feel like they put less ships in it because they have more stuff to fill the book out with. I mean, we see the Night Buzzard flying. Like, it, it, it follows them on the Falcon when they escape the Star Destroyer. And... I think we f we see it flying with Kylo Ren's command shuttle at some point, too. You see it a couple times. Out of the visual dictionary, don't think there's another book. Okay, so they just put the ships in the visual dictionary. Like, for Force Awakens and uh, The Last Jedi, they did two separate books. They did a book for the visual dictionary, which is mostly just canon stuff. And they have another book for just all the ships. Which I guess makes sense, like, for why they wouldn't do one for Rise of Skywalker. Because there really aren't very many new ships in that movie. Honestly, shout out to The Last Jedi for being the one sequel movie that I feel like actively tried to give us a bunch of new vehicles. Like, thinking about it, there are a lot of, like, new vehicles in The Last Jedi, so I appreciate that. Lots of stuff to build from. The TIE Fighter, it's a little less than a foot. It's honestly almost exactly the same size as Lego set TIE Fighters. It's many thick scale. Owen Tomlinson got the UCS Falcon. Nice. Have you started building it yet? I still need to build my freaking Star Destroyer, dude. And new vehicles with a good amount of screen time, too. Exactly. Like, new vehicles that actually did memorable things. That arc uh, you built inspired me to rebuy one last week. Built it in an hour. Nice. He says, Resistance Bomber and TIE Silencer are sick. Oh, yeah, dude. Resistance Bomber is probably my favorite ship from, like, Disney canon. Disney Star Wars canon. Either that or the Ewing. I'd say those are both up there. But that Resistance Bomber. Ooh. What a beautiful vehicle. If you want, I can help you. with. Oh, thanks. That is so kind. I think I'll, I'll figure it out myself, though. So is your Starkiller base mock technically minifig scale or just... No, it's not. It's not anywhere close to minifig scale. It's a big mock, but it's not, it's not minifig scale at all. Dude, the bombing sequence is one of the most exciting openings to a Star Wars movie ever. I totally agree. I thought that was freaking sweet. Especially the fact that all they needed was one of them to blow up the entire Dreadnought. Like, holy crap. That's why I find it annoying that people try to, like, say, oh, the, the Resistance Bomber sucks because of what happens in the film. But, I mean, it only takes one of them to blow up an entire capital ship. Like, that's insane.
Favorite Star Wars movie is episode four. A New Hope. <clears throat> it's not even that their armor is junk. It was just that, like, like pieces of ships were flying at them. I mean, the same thing would happen to any other ship. They just happen to be carrying a lot of bombs. I can make a device big enough to take one out. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Bomb Squad. Uh, do you know when the Houston Invention that you're going to is being held? It'll be July 23rd through 26th. So does that mean Y-Wing? They had Y-Wing bombers as well, and a Dreadnought would be a good reason for a big bomber. Y-Wing ain't doing nearly as much damage as a Resistance bomber, that's for sure. Do I like Rogue One? Yeah, Rogue One's a pretty good movie. It says, I've been watching all the original trilogy. Return of the Jedi has such a perfect ending. I know, right? And then episode nine happens. Frago, did you watch I Am Not Okay with this on Netflix? If not, I highly recommend it. I have not. What's it about? What many things do you think will come with a UCS dropship? You mean the UCS gunship? Or is there a UCS dropship that I was not aware of? You have to sort 25 pounds of Lego. Dude, I have so many pounds of Lego I need to sort. I don't even want to think about it. The biggest reason I've been holding off on doing the room tour is because I have so much Lego to sort and clean, but it's just so much. And I feel like I keep adding to it. Shaft a giant cannon onto their cruisers. Would you like a Star Wars Rebel sequels after the Clone Wars is finished? Um, No. Not at all. Not at all. Which makes me disappointed because I've been hearing rumors that there is going to be a Star Wars Rebels sequel. Jay, don't buy all the, uh, all the half circle tile on us. I promise I won't. Actually, I bought them earlier. Um, the seller had like 700. I needed like 200. So I left a decent amount. Anything from Vardo still not building. and Anything from Vardo still not built. Not including. I don't understand what you mean. Are you... Asking if there's anything that I had in Vardos that I had not taken down yet outside of the vehicles. The only thing I kept from Vardos was, outside of vehicles, was the statue of um, Admiral Versio and the Easter egg I did of the helmet dispenser. Those are the only two things I kept. Um, did I not like Rebels? I thought Rebels was pretty good. I thought the ending was awful, but I thought Rebels for the most part was pretty good. Nicer fossil set had a ton. Oh, did it? Huh. I remember when I was doing Vardos, they weren't nearly as easy to find. So it's nice that they're in, they're more regularly in circulation now. Especially with dots now coming out. There's tons of half circle and quarter circle tiles included in those sets. And, and interesting colors too. So that'll be a nice thing to be added to the market. What mock do you think you'll do next? Surprise, you'll see. You, sh you will see. But yeah, Re a Rebel sequel, I mean, it just makes no sense. For one, I'm just, I'm tired of, of the Galactic Civil War era. I'm just like, there's just been so much canon surrounding that time period. And we're already getting the casting in show, which is during that time period. So... And they were already in the Obi-Wan show, which is also during that time period. So just, just no. I'm just, no. No. Favorite lightsaber duel in the whole saga? Probably the Starkiller base duel. Can I interest you in 1x4 black tiles? Um, I probably will need some. I mean, I have a bunch right now, but I will probably need more. Did you pre-order pre the Razor Crest yet, or um, are you going to get it? I'll get it, but I have no reason to pre-order it. I'll just buy it in stores. I'm not in any rush to get that Saturn. I and mean, if it's if availability is a concern, I don't have a problem waiting for it. I won't build it. Well, I'll probably build it to review it. 
But it's not a set I plan on keeping built. Yeah, the, Ray, the Lego Razor Crest, I'm not a fan of. It, just, it looks so rushed, honestly. They could have done a better job. Yeah, I, I mean, like, yeah, I grew with Trevor. Like, I didn't have high expectations for the set, but I think it could look better even for a Lego set. Ooh. Least favorite lightsaber fight from Star Wars. Um, probably Dooku versus Anakin and Obi-Wan for episode two. Yeah, a lot of the proportions on that Razor Crest are just wrong. Especially the engines. They look way too small. They could have used the new X-Wing parts for the engines, make those parts more available. It would still be, I mean, that would have been nice because it would have looked better, but the engines would still be too small. I guess there's, I mean, I don't know. They could have made a bigger version of it, I guess, if they really wanted I mean, honestly, like, as much as I think the 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 Dooku lightsaber fight in episode 2 is lame, the, the Grievous lightsaber fight in episode 3 is also pretty lame. Like, why was that even a lightsaber I know it was a lightsaber fight just to show that Grievous had four arms, but it's, like, half of his arms get cut off almost immediately, and then the rest of the fight proceeds to be done without lightsabers. So it really does make you wonder, like, why why was there even lightsabers involved in that fight? I'd say the, the Grievous one is up there on par for worst lightsaber fights in Star Wars. I know, I know, I know, Mando Bricks. They should make a custom windshield piece for your Razor Crest mock. Uh, that'd be cool, but um, I'm not super bothered by it. I honestly find it shocking how many people have requested that, like... It really just does not bother me at all that my Razor Crest doesn't have a have a windshield piece. I don't know. I guess I'm just different. Like I'd rather have something that looks accurate than to have a windshield piece just for a windshield piece. Like it's the biggest thing. Like when comparing Jarek's um, X-wing mocks to Enther's X-wing mocks. Like obviously Jarek uses the newer X-wing piece, and I mean Enther could if he wanted to, but that X-wing cockpit piece is inaccurate. So like. If you want to make it a super accurate model, like, like why use that piece, you know? I don't know. I'd rather have an accurate-looking brick-built cockpit than just a, an, an inaccurate windshield piece. Like, if I wanted, I could, you know, throw some pieces on there to give it a windshield. But, I don't know, I like, I like that it's accurate. Are you building or just sitting there? I was actually trying to see what else I could work on. I got my stack of walls pretty much done. I got my pillars built up. Uh, the biggest thing that's kind of stopping me from working on either of these sections is I i don't know if I ran out of these, but I, just, I don't have very many of these left. So I'm not sure how much of this I can proceed on. And I actually figured it out right now because I bought like 50 of these. So I've used one, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, okay, so I should have enough to do this side and some of the top of here. But that's not something I would do on stream because those things are a pain to apply and I would need to, like, really focus on doing that. So I guess to answer your question, I am just sitting here at this point. Are you making a square pit that lifts stormtroopers up? Yeah, or no? Well, I'm honestly not sure what you're referring to. You should the village from Mando episode four. Just watch it. I can't remember the name. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name either. Um, it'd be a fun mock to do. 
Honestly, any a mock from any of the Mandalorian episodes are, are not a bad idea, but I just it's not at this point. Um, I take the tie striker over the tie dagger. I just I don't care for the tie dagger. I'm just I just don't care for it. The bottomless pit thing, bottomless pit thing, like where? Do you think the Mando mini fix should have a lighter color helmet? Yeah, he probably should. Should look more shiny. Uh, post a mini fix scale. I know exactly what you're talking about, and it looked pretty sweet. It was huge too. He's holding it. It's like this long. Um, the what's called the the something the mantis is that what it's called stinger mantis um i know my guy caleb ricks is actually working on one right now and i'm really looking forward to seeing what he does with that like, after, like when i played when i started playing the game i was like oh i gotta build that ship and then once i finished the game i was like i really don't want to do anything <laughs> in reference to this game i just didn't enjoy fallen order to be honest that ship is cool though if i really like that game or if i liked it at all I would probably build that shit. Hold on one sec again. Hey, what's up? Hey, do you want some money from, uh, McDonald's? Yeah, sure. Okay, so 20 pieces. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Anakin's face... On, why Anakin's face on a rebel trooper? Why Anakin's face? Because it was the actor of Anakin from the Clone Wars who played... Oh, was it? I didn't even know that. What I need to figure out is how to get a Matt the Radar Technician minifig that actually looks really good. What's up, Alex Konoff? Konoff? How do you pronounce that? I'll work on these supports. I just think this looks so cool. Like, from you guys' perspective, the fact that there's actually a hallway right here that stops, it just makes me very happy. And we have Ray climbing. Bet you didn't even notice it. The Alexes are taking over. I want to put a Spider-Man somewhere in here. I was thinking about having one, like, just kind of, like, like, hanging on one of the walls. Or I could just have him, like, swinging from one side of this to another. I don't know. Favorite of Jarek's builds? Definitely his Star Destroyer. Like, Jarek has the most ridiculous Star Destroyer out there. By far. Appreciate that Lego Mando Productions. It'll look even better once these are lit up. Actually, these are sticker pieces, the Death Star panels. And I'd use these so I could put a light behind them and they'll be illuminated. Public Bricks has a decent Matt the Radar Technician. Um, if you can shoot me a screenshot, if it's he's readily available to you, I'd love to check it out. But yeah, basically I decided I'm going to do like a cafeteria in this build. And basically an annex of that is going to be the eating area from the Matt the Radar Technician skit. Because it's not a very big, like, um, it's not a big, very big area, so it'd be an easy thing to incorporate it. I'll appreciate it, Alex McBrick. Have a good dinner. And he says, really fun stream. Hope to catch you in another one soon. Yep. 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 I'll definitely make it a point to be doing these. So the biggest reason I, I haven't streamed in a little while is because I was basically just working nights all the time and like... I like I usually try to stream sometime in the evening, so I just wasn't able to. 
It should be a trash compactor mock. I did. There's actually a trash compactor mock. It's literally right here. Go check out. I don't know what update it is, but if you look through like the Star Killer updates, there's a trash. One of the photos, like the thumbnails, is a trash compactor, so you can check it out. I actually haven't seen this in a, a really long time. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, the trash compactor right there. Stormtrooper helmet dispensers from the Lego game. I've actually already done that. That was in uh, Vardos. I was thinking about putting in this mock because I still I kept the build from it. Um, and I can just replace the Stormtrooper helmet with the First Order Stormtrooper helmet. So I might actually do that. If there's a Lego Star Wars Easter egg that's possible to include in one of these mocks, I'd probably have considered it or have done it. Uh, I don't know about you, but the rumors of a UCS A-Wing sound disappointing to me. Oh, is that actually what's rumored? I wouldn't be shocked, but I'm, I'm not excited by that at all. Like, it, it would make sense, but that's that's not what I want. Like, I never loved the A-Wing as a vehicle in general in Star Wars. Like, it's just fine. Like, it's just okay. But I definitely don't care to have a big, a big old A-Wing. I think you have an Easter egg of a villain and hero from another movie series fighting, such as Spider-Man going at Venom, included in your mock. Um, how is the helmet attached, attached though, to the dispenser? I actually used um, Sticky Tack to do that. This is a security camera view on Starkiller. The beach stormtroopers and the pool in Lego Star Wars complete side would be great. I actually... I don't think so. I don't. Maybe one of you will remember if you've looked at my Scarif mock. I don't think I actually included the beach trooper from the game on Scarif. I think Garrett and I wanted to do it. We just didn't get the parts in time. But I have the figure, so I'll put it somewhere. Maybe I'll make like a first order beach trooper. Have you ever used any chrome pieces for your builds? Big Fault has a Nabu and one Starfire on the side. I'm thinking about replacing all the chrome pieces. Or a piece that should be chrome with chrome pieces. So I actually have two of those um, Naboo Starfighters that Enthrope designed. And I planned at one point to do that. But it's like, depending on how many of the pieces you want to do chrome. Because certain things you can get away with not having chrome. But um, it's at least like 150 bucks to do. So, I mean, I would love to do it. But consider I have two of them now. So, like, I wouldn't want to have one chrome and one not chrome. So... At some point, yes, but I'm not super pressed to do that. Would you think you would ever make a first order bomber, first order bomber from Resistance? I haven't even so. Oh God, that shows how how like out of touch I am. I didn't know that the first order used bombers in Resistance, but I mean, I don't know. Probably not. Like the hologram of that comes up in uh, in the Last Jedi, right? Am I not mistaken? Did they show like a hologram of a first order Tie bomber? Or am I totally, like, misremembering that? I feel like I've definitely seen a First Order Time Bomber from something outside of Resistance. Uh, why did you change the finger mechanism for your claw design that one in the game looks solid? Um, mostly because the if I built it like it is in the game, it would be too easy to grab figures. Like, it would pretty much just work every single time. And I didn't want to do that. No, the bomber debuted in the Poe Dameron comic. Oh, okay. Huh. I don't know then. Welcome back, Ben Adams. Starfighter would cost around eighty dollars a chrome. Lego does not allow the guy who makes chrome parts sell in Brickley anymore. Cause oh, that's annoying. I didn't even think about that. It's really only eighty bucks. Whenever I put all the stuff in, it was more expensive than that. But like I said, it, it depends on how many you decide to chrome. I mean, I loved Resistance season one, and I watched some of season two. But after I watched episode nine, I just kind of gave up on Resistance. I was like. I don't even care to see where this story goes because I know where it all ends up. Favorite battle in Star Wars is easily Scarif. It's not even close. Um, 
I haven't watched the ending of Resistance, so I couldn't tell you, like, for sure, for sure. But I think it's worth watching. I enjoyed it until episode nine. How big, how big do you plan the final mock to be? How do you plan to transport it? We'll probably have to transport it in some sort of U-Haul, but how big will this entire mock be? I'd like to say as big as it needs to be. Um, right now it's, let's see, There's it was these three tables, and it's about to be two more. It's five tables, and then probably two or three more tables after that. So like eight tables. Tables are, what, three feet each, like from here to here. Maybe a little bit less than that. Well, let's just assume it's three feet because it's easier for me to do math that way. If the tables are three feet and eight tables, so does that 24 feet, maybe less. I'd say it'd be about 20 feet long. I think that's fair to say. I guess 20 feet long and six feet wide. So it's a big mock. It's a big boy. New Clone Wars episodes have been pretty good. I've been enjoying them. The only model of someone else's is the, is the N1 Starfighter. Not sure why I got it uh, for Christmas. It only cost 15 bucks. I got the yellow arches at the time. Oh, you're saying that's the only model you have of someone else's. I see, I see. It's a good model. I love it. I love that I have it. I have two of them. I also need to get those yellow arches. I haven't checked them recently on BrickLink, but I'm sure the prices have gotten much better considering it's popped up in at least one more set since then. I love the Jedi character models finally in the robes. What do you mean? What are you referring to? Favorite Stormtrooper slash, corn, or slash clone trooper. My favorite Stormtrooper design is probably the First Order Special Forces pilot design. Favorite clone trooper design is just the phase one clone. Are you keeping the Ray cloning facility? I'm still not sure what I want to do with that room. Like, it's a good looking room, so I'd hate to just scrap it. But I, know, I just try not to think about it, to be quite, if I'm being quite honest. Um, do you, if you don't have the UCS Slave one, I'd say it's worth it. Otherwise, no. The Jedi wearing uh, robes around. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. So they look more like the Episode 3 characters. I see what you mean. The Coruscant Speeder Contest is actually going really well. We've gotten some really good looking entries. I won't go into detail, but if you guys haven't checked it out, hop on Instagram and look up the hashtag RBG Speeder Contest, and you can see all the entries that have happened so far. I would build a custom Slave 1 minifig scale. Are you not happy with the Lego set? I guess you could always use a bit more of an interior, so that could absolutely be something you know, included. As of now, Instagram's the only way to submit. I'm sorry. Ben Adams, that would be, that might be a little too sexy to, to, to incorporate into the mock. Is the UCS Falcon worth it? Definitely. Absolutely. Shout out to Brazil. Set uh, good needs an interior, and there's a lot of gaps. There are gaps. Um, I don't super mind them, but there are gaps. Last Jedi of Force Awakens, definitely Last Jedi. 
Pasana Beach Speeder Beach Speeder Chase. I probably should put a uh, Star Killer in this mock. It is his base after all. Owen Tomlinson, how is the Republic Bricks uh, Matt the Rare Technician figure? Could you, if you're on Instagram, could you shoot me a photo of it? My favorite mock that I've done probably is Vardos. Vardos. My home planet of Vardos. Shout out to Aiden Versio. Holy crap. Oh, appreciate that, Logan Rainey. Thank you so much, man. To find the Lego addiction. I love that you all enable me. Shout out to the Bothans. Shout out to Manny both hands. All right, Trevor sent me a picture. That's not too bad, huh? That has arm printing too. Does there is there a more neutral face on the other side? I wonder. Oh, I mean, it's 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 a slightly more neutral face. Okay, I might get that. Although, I don't want to do a freaking auction for it. I'll just reach out to Timmy and see if I can just buy it from him. I wonder where he got it from. I'll look around and see who he got it from, because I don't want to participate in an auction for that figure. Okay, please don't spam the chat. And see you, Dr. Phil. I think the trees, including your Fardo smock, are really sick. Thanks. I had a really good time designing those. You can claim one. He has more. Okay, that's good. I'll, I'll reach out to him about it. I definitely don't want to have to do an auction for it. That would just be annoying. I think I'd probably replace the hair dough. That's the hair, the hair dough. The hair though. You know, there's a mini fix scale Hellfire droid. I think the 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 most recent one is close. Maybe it should be slightly bigger. I don't know. I haven't looked too extensively into Hellfire droids to be honest. No, I'm not 25 yet. There's a bit of time before I have to change my intro. Make a mall in your mock for stormtroopers. Yeah, I've talked to Timmy before, so I built some rapport with him. Plus, he knows I'm working on a big mock. Well, if he doesn't know, he will know. He's not. He's a coke dealer. Kilo Ren. Uh, who's better, Kylo Ren or Vader? Um, in terms of just character of a character, I think Kylo Ren's a more interesting character than Vader. But considering where, considering he basically just ended up having the same story as Vader, I'll say Vader. I think Episode Seven and Episode Eight, Kylo Ren is more interesting than Episode Four and Five, Vader. But considering Episode. Nine Kylo Ren just basically ends up finishing his story off like Vader. I'll just give it to Vader because the story was better the first time I saw it, if that's fair. DMK, you gotta come to Brick Fiesta, bro. It's gonna be lit. Are the lights plugged into an outlet or a battery pack? And if you use a battery pack, how often do you change the batteries? Um, they're pointing to a battery pack. I actually just need to go ahead. There's a basically an, an 
a converter I can get to not have to use a battery pack because I mean I don't change them super often because I don't have the lights on often. Um, but I um I don't know I. <laughs> When I was working on Vardos and I had the lights on often, I had to replace the batteries a lot more often than I would have liked to. So I would like to convert it into a, a wall power source. Brick Vault might get Marshall Banana Shuttle. I think that's that the Lego set is very good. I like D Max Custom Shuttle the best. Did you actually you know the story behind that, right? Like Lego Shuttle was very heavily inspired by D Max. I don't know exactly what happened, but, like, I've heard that they basically just took his design, essentially. Or if, if, if they didn't take it, they, like, used it with his permission. But, um, I think Marshall's cockpit looks really nice. I think, I mean, D-Max shuttle just has all, like, the, the power functions with it. Like, the retractable landing gear. Like, it's hard to take any other shuttle over that. Um, how, do, why, how do you know they might get the shuttle? Did they talk about it, or have you talked to Marshall about it? Nobody need a clone Palpatine, in my opinion. That is absolutely true. It feels so good that things have, have come around this way. Like, I remember when they first announced that the Emperor was going to be in this movie, and I was just like, that's so stupid. And so many people kept telling me, oh, Jay, just, you don't, you haven't even seen the movie yet. Wait to see what they do with him. It could be interesting. And now it seems that people mostly agree that he should not have been in that film. It's like, I've been telling you guys this since day one. Why didn't no one listen to me? Um, I have not watched Lego Masters. They have worked with him before. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, Marshall hasn't sold instructions up to this point, so it'd be nice to be able to build one of his builds. Are you displaying a mock at Brick Fiesta? I'm going to display this mock at Brick Fiesta. Are you a member of a lug? Yes, I'm a member of Tex Lug Houston. Brick Fiesta is in Houston. Yes, everyone is coming to Brick Fiesta this year. It's going to be a good time. Bro, if I can get David to come, holy crap. That'd be freaking awesome. The weirdest customer interaction at the Lego store. Um, I have to think about that. I will say I get recognized at my store a lot more often nowadays. I guess since my channel has grown. Trevor, what are you bringing to Brick Fiesta this year? I 
All right, see ya, Ben Adams. Any six-year-olds by the UCS Falcon yet? Uh, surprisingly, no. No six-year-olds buying Falcons. Trevor, you gotta spill the beans on what you're bringing to Brick Fiesta, bro. Does Garrett get recognized? I actually don't work with Garrett anymore. I'm at a different store now. Um, Garrett really doesn't. I mean, when we, when we were, when he was really active just on YouTube, like he would. Not so much anymore, from what I've talked to him about. All right, that's not correct. Oh no, it's six six eight six. Six. Is he still living in your closet? Shh. The cops don't know about that yet. Cops don't know what we're doing in here, guys. Gotta keep it that way. Did you ever showcase Vardos at any conventions? Nope. Vardos is the one mock that I didn't take anywhere. Which sucked, because I think by far it would have been the most impressive mock at a convention. So, that kind of sucks. But, the video I did on it did really well, so that made me happy. I know, right? Garrett's separating himself from, from his Lego past. Probably a smaller display than last year. I might just bring stuff from last year to fill more space. You'll just have to wait and see. Wow. Okay. Garrett, if you can hear me, say nothing. Garrett, if you can hear us right now, blink twice. What you working on, Jack Newman Rath? Like to fix the AT hauler because I don't really like it. The head and wings need to be fixed. We'll do it. And also build a Convy X for it to be carrying. Or at least, not necessarily a whole Convy X, but a Convy X like, section for it to be carrying. I think you're being way too hard on yourself. That mock was incredible, dude. Still love to include it in the mock showcase someday. I can get any pictures of it. Tips on sorting Lego. That's that's a whole video's worth of content. Um, I sort mine mostly by type and sometimes by color, depending on what the piece is. One base plate mini scarif. There we go. I was talking to Garrett. I was like is a uh, scarif 3.0 since we've already done two two scarifs i was like a scarif 3.0 gonna be what brings you back into the lego game and he was like i'd like to retire on scarif 3.0 so garrett will return for a final mock which will be scarif at some point whenever we do that what's up alex lyon I'm getting Delta Squad at Chicago. Are you going to get it from uh, from Cat? How long was it before you hit 1,000 subs? Honestly, don't remember. That was just so long ago. I couldn't tell you. That was a very long time ago. What's your favorite mock I've done? Not the AT Hauler. I mean, but it's the AT Hauler. Um, let's see. I mean, it's definitely the AT. Why, why can't I say the AT hauler? I thought the uh, the the cloud swoop bikes you brought to Fiesta looked really good as well.
you were working on, I don't know if you ever finished, but I liked what you were doing with the uh, Separatist shuttle also. Or maybe you did finish, and I just never saw the finished version of it. Oof is making a Battle of Kashyyyk Lego mock. That sounds fun. I know many things for you, okay? David Hall has uh, Delta Squad, but I don't know if it's any cheaper than than CAC. So it seems like for the most part, we've reached an, an impasse of uh, progress that I can make on the stream. I need to apply more stickers to these panels. If I can even find more of these panels. I thought I had a ton of them. Apparently I didn't. But um, I need more of those bad boys so I can apply the stickers to them. I'm going to make my mock four base plates, but for now only one. That sounds good. So I think that's actually going to bring the stream to a close, guys. It was a very good time. Shout out to everyone who tuned in. Shout out to everyone who dropped the super chat. That was pretty dope. I really appreciate that. And um, I'll be back again next week. I'm going to start making these streams a more regular thing because I think just looking at my work schedule, I'm not working so many night shifts, which allow me to do that. Uh, Owens Rich is working at 12 grade base plate mock. I guess before I go, I'd like to know what are you, uh, what are you um, building? David says, Jay, did you vote today? I wish I could say, like, Obi-Wan, I'm, I'm not brave enough for politics, but yeah, I did. At night. Night, 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 night. All right, I'm actually going to leave, so take care, guys. I'll be back again. Make sure you, if you haven't already... Um, submit a custom speeder design to the speeder build contest that I'm hosting. Um, tune in for every other thing I do on this channel. And uh, I'll see you guys again very soon.